so this is the day before my journey starts i actually woke up seeing this amazing view is quite insane not gonna lie and yeah so plan for this year is to actually go to france and have fun a bit see what happens i personally don't actually celebrate christmas uh, but i know a lot of people do and since i've been born outside of iran actually i do celebrate it now and then i like the free gifts really basically i want to take you guys on a journey with me so let's go The eagle has landed. Meet Sam. Welcome to Geneva. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Don't film our disasters. <laughs> this whole trip careful, is careful. Be filming our disasters. Starting to get wrinkles. So, we made it. What is this place called? La we made it to La <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the good things about traveling spontaneously, actually. You don't have any expectations as to where you're going, so you're gonna be pleasantly surprised pretty much anywhere you go. This trip coming up this mountain uh, was super spontaneous actually. We decided instead of going to ice skating, we would come on top of a mountain, which I'm gonna argue was one of the best decisions <laughs> because I'm not good at ice skating. But anyway, my point is when you don't actually plan a lot of these things, you surprise yourself even on trips that you're not really in control of and that is quite surprising for me because I'm a person that has to plan everything quite closely otherwise you know I'll just lose it girls hello girls are occupied there's another girl here there's three of them it's always too much to handle look Look, look what I have to deal with. I'm a bit concerned now. How deep is this snow going to get? Because you guys look very professional. <laughs> Let me see. One of those! <laughs> Here's also another thing that I would like to share. When you actually do planning, and when you really plan out everything that you need to do for the next six months to a year, or let's say you're going on a long-term trip for two, three weeks. When you actually plan all these things 
what you're actually doing is predicting outcomes. You're predicting the results of something that's going to happen or even how you're going to feel in a specific location or when you actually do something or take an action or activity. The thing about that though is you already imagining those outcomes is already going to give you, funnily enough, the dopamine rush that you're going to feel or at least you're going to imagine how it's going to feel. So if that imagination is a lot bigger and a lot more powerful than what the actual experience is, the actual experience is not going to feel as nice as it could. So just imagine you think of a holiday, you can imagine where you're going on a beach, it's going to be sunny, it's going to be amazing, and you plan and all of that. But then when you actually go on the holiday, it's going to be cold, it's going to be rainy, and you're just not going to have a good time. So the difference between that prediction that you did in your head and what actually happened when you went there is going to ruin that experience for you. So my point is planning has its own time and place and you have to do that at some point. You have to know where you're going and so on and so forth. But planning too much can become bad and actually ruin your experience. That's about it. My head's absolutely frozen right now. Frosty the snowman is a happy, happy chap. I don't know the words. When we all get together on a winter's day, it's great lot of fun we have. Uh, la 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 la. Faster, faster. Faster. Come on. Come on. I was gonna faster. <laughs> <laughs> What did I get myself into? <laughs> so, let me know what do you think about planning or doing things spontaneously and which one works for you best and in the context of maybe traveling or being productive or pretty much doing anything. I think spontaneous works better. In terms of planning, having an outline always helps, so you know sort of in which direction you're going, or if you have a set of things that you want to get done. But when it comes to detailed planning, it makes it a lot harder to follow, and I feel like I don't get as much done, and it's a lot more stressful. Whereas just winging it sometimes, you just enjoy it a lot more, and in the end you do what you want to do, not what you plan to do. Moral of the story? Just wing it. Wing it till we make it. So I'm here with the birthday girl herself. Hi. Lucy, say hi to my Hello. audience. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> first, let me not fall and die. I lost my chance. <laughs> this, this is definitely going the bloopers. <laughs> but yeah, so what type of personality are you? Are you like a spontaneous person that is happy to just take on any random thing or do you think planning is necessary for whatever travel activities university or whatever else it is that you do okay so on a daily basis i'm not a big planner i just like going spontaneous just getting up seeing whatever you're in the mood for but when it does come to like going on a holiday i don't like a full-on plan but i do like to know okay we're going to this place there is, for example, this, this, this that we definitely want to go and see, we definitely want to go and eat. Uh, try and fit it in a few days, but then for the rest of the time, just enjoy. Right. So you semi-plan, basically. Semi-plan. Right. And what happens if those semi-plans or whatever <laughs> um, don't go as expected? How do you feel and how would you react? And also, how would you plan the next time if it's the same topic? Would you um, not plan or would you plan better? So on so forth. So for example, if uh, I plan for example like for a weekend, I'm like, uh, friends want to meet up, do this, do that, go to the restaurant, go for an outing. And end of it all, I had cancer, I, like, other people wanted to plan something else during that day. And I'm like, no, sorry, I already committed to something. And then those people decide that day that actually, no, let's not go to the restaurant. Let's actually just 
make something at home or actually we're not going out we might just see each other tonight right that would piss me off right it'll piss you off okay yeah. interesting um if for example like i said again going on holiday you prepare all these things like for example i want to go to paris i want to see the eiffel tower i want to see the louvre i want to see disneyland and if at the end of the day we don't actually go and see the eiffel tower i just be like well it is what to it come is. back to paris right <laughs> <laughs> So it is what it is, basically, right? Damn it, this it is what it is sentence basically goes for absolutely anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I get your point. I mean, that, that was exactly how I was. I mean, I get really annoyed when things don't go to plan, but you can ask Sam, for example. Recently, I've been trying to just keep it quite spontaneous. And um, yeah, she's giving a thumbs up. She's all the way in the front. <laughs> Recently, I've been trying to keep it quite spontaneous and keep my urges to plan <laughs> under control because uh, yeah what i learned is basically i can't really control everything there's a lot of external factors that i can control in managing my expectations when it comes to those external factors and knowing and identifying that they are external and they're not something that i can control helps a lot i decided to just go with whatever and try to like enjoy and find good things within that experience that makes me enjoy it more and like like it and so on and so forth so that's my two cents on this